You're watching complete team coverage of Google I.O. 2011 from the Droid Guy. Brought to you by Millennial Media. We are taking a look at the LG Optimus 3D. Now, LG was first to bring a dual-core phone to market, and they got a Guinness Book of World Records for it. And now they're bringing a dual-core, dual-whammy 3D stereoscopic phone that features two 5-megapixel cameras on the back and a WVGA on the front for, of course, video chatting. But let's tell you about the, what's underneath the hood. We have a 1 gigahertz dual-core Texas Instruments OMAP 4 processor. It's coming out with Android 2.2, but as you know, LG has committed itself to giving us at least one update, so you can definitely expect gingerbread. Look at this vibrant 4.3-inch touchscreen. Inside, there's 8 gigabytes of memory, and it supports up to 32 gigabytes with the micro SD card. Also, it's the glasses-free 3D image and video viewing on the device, so you don't need the glasses, but they have the glasses here at the booth. This glasses for the The glasses are actually for the tablet, we knew that, but these are badass glasses. But you do not need them for the LG Optimus 3D. Wi-Fi connectivity, of course, and uh, do you know what carrier it's going to yet? Or? Not, not decided yet. Oh, it's actually 18. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between a dual channel, dual core, and regular dual core? Okay. Uh, or the difference between Tegra 2 and, and uh, OMOP 4? Precisely. That's a very good uh, comparison point. So, it's very, initially there was a single core and a single warehouse, right? That's the good old single core uh, processors out there. Then came dual core with a still one warehouse. So, there was a lot of, lot of uh, Bandwidth, bandwidth crunching uh, to supply information to uh, the factories, one warehouse. But now, eventually, the TI OMAP 4 is the first mobile AP in the market that has a dual core and dual uh, memory, dual channel, dual pipes to supply enough information to and from the dual core engine. So you don't have any memory bandwidth issue between the, the two mobile APs and the memory. So like when they first started saying dual core, people thought that there was two different processors in, in the phone. And now there is, but now with dual core, with OMAP 4, it's really truly it's two really separate. Dual core means there's two processors in the two phone that can function independently of each other. Independent of each other, yes. Cool, and that's not, they're using Snapdragon in the HTC phone. They're using Snapdragon. This one is using TI OMAP 4. Awesome. And, and uh, the early benchmark results from Anand's tech shows, clearly shows that TI OMAP 4 dwarfs any other microprocessors in the market. That's, that's right here in the United States of Texas. Oh yeah, Damn. right there. Google I.O. 2011 coverage also brought to you by AndroidHomecoming.com, September 23rd through 25th in Mountain View, California.